What's up guys, my name is Pi. In this video, I wanna show you guys, well, how to sort of mimic the sun when weather conditions aren't really kind of cooperating with you. And we have done this before, but it's kind of fun because we have a little new scene here set up. We're in the middle of a field. I have Brooke and Barry sitting here on Barry's guitar case actually, just to keep them off the bugs. And what we have going on here in Arizona is we've got this beautiful sunlight coming in behind them, but the sun is going in and out of the clouds. And so one of my favorite things is with a little bit of flash power, we can create our own sun, right? And in this video, I wanna show you some tips on how to get there. Number one, you'll see Jared back there. He's actually uh, setting up the lights right now. And he has, well, basically two 200 watt strobes set up in the mag ring. So I would say between 200 and 400 watt seconds worth of light is great. Then we're gonna do the CTO gels. And from there, we have enough power where we can kind of place the light really wherever we want. Step two, get that light far enough back that it's hitting everything that you're really capturing within the frame. This is probably the biggest mistake that most photographers are making when they do this type of technique is they bring the flash too close and you're not covering the environment like the sun would. Now the next thing that I like to do, if you still have some direction of light, which we do because the sun is kind of caught by overcast, but it's not like kind of blanketed completely, right? So we still have this direction of light and what I wanna do is mirror that direction of light by placing the flash in an area of the scene that is convincing. So when we go to this place in the shoot, this is where we say camp, composition, ambient light, modify or add light, and then photograph. So I already kind of took a step and said, this is really the composition that I want. I wanna shoot low so I have some foreground elements here and I have the couple in my background and I'm shooting this at around like say F2-ish. So we have some good separation, anywhere between F1.4 to 2.8 is a good kind of aperture for the depth. Uh, and then from there, I wanna leave the exposure a little bit on the bright side. So when we talk about that ambient light exposure, anything on that more dark side is gonna be more dramatic, on the brighter side is gonna be more light and airy, and we really wanna go with like kind of a nice just sunset vibe in this shot, even though we don't have the sun. So we're gonna go with around 1 500 of a second for our shutter speed, F1.4 to 2.8, low ISO, and we're gonna blast the flashes because we are in high speed sync. So this is where we get to that modify or add light, and in this case, we need to add light because we wanna create our own little sun. We have that already placed, you guys know where to put it. And then it's as simple as just starting to take the pictures. So we get to the P that's to photograph. So Barry, serenade your lovely girl. 